lot easier to give them a reason to give up. And so uh, I had one year in college, you know, I said, this is, this is the move, this power pass the one I had probably 90% of my friends with. And I had one year in college, I had three guys that took up the goal for once I really learned to do it. And, and three guys who I ripped their shoulder apart a little bit at the end of their season because they wouldn't just go over their kind of muscle heads. And, you know, not the most jack guy. Uh, pretty close, but not the most jack guy. And so the, the, the muscle head kind of guys sometimes, they just try to, try to fight it. And those are the, the easiest guys to like turn a lot of times. And so I, I got to the point where if I got my toe across, got power half in, I was confident, right? I was confident that I was here, I may turn the opinion, or B, you wouldn't want to go over, and, and I tried to enact the six. Not doing anything illegal, I don't believe doing anything illegal, but I'm going to give you a reason to turn it over legally, and if you don't, then too bad for you, I'm not going to bring it anymore. Um, so the same position, you know, my toes across, I go 45 degree angle, I come underneath, I lock my wrist, everything's the same. Here, I bring my chest forward, I step up. Now, everything's the same at this point, right? And there's a lot of little fine details there. Again, so 45 degree angle, elbow to shoulder, wrist to the, the top of the head, wrist to wrist. My chest comes all the way over and shoulder, I step up. All right, again, I get my elbow past his elbow. Now, this is this is where most kids will lose it, um, is it, when they're adjusting to get the fall. I've still got this toe in. I'm going to keep this toe in as long as possible. Because the longer I take, keep this toe in here, the more I'm twisting his back and the torque on his back and shoulder his neck. Right? Right. So I'm going to keep my toe in as long as I can. Until I can't anymore, or else, or else I'm not going to get the turn. Right? So with this position, I step up, I get my shoulder forward, I bring my elbow forward from here. This transition is really important. My top hand, my half hand. It's not punch to the mat, it's not roll with my wrist. So I'm not punch to the mat, I'm going to roll with my wrist. And the reason I do that, it's kind of a little subtle thing, but here my wrist bends again, right? So it's just it's the same thing with this. My wrist bends. If I go here, my wrist doesn't bend. The only thing that bends is my elbow. I lock my elbow out. Right? I'm going to tell you So, same thing. My elbow goes back, my elbow. My elbow starts playing this head under, and my fists. And my fist pump this to the mat and I roll all the way to my wrist. You know, I don't run it up here because you can pull it off, pull my hand up, push it up. I want it down here against his neck. I want my hand right here against his neck and it's uh, uh, between his ear and his shoulder. Right? The tighter the better. The closer it is the better. And this hand, this hand just slides this way. From this lot, it slides down the neck. So again, uh, step up. Slide it down, and I put my wrist all the way to the back. Now, see how my elbow is bent? No good. This is where you can find me down. This is where most kids lose right here. As they come here. See how my elbow is bent? Now, it's not going to fight out. Just like that again. You alright? This is where they can't get the So, he's going to get shot. So, I punch the mat, I straighten my arm. Now, my arm's straight, my arm doesn't bend. Alright? I straighten my arm so it doesn't bend. Fight down. Fight down. Fight down. Fight down. Fight down. Fight down, fight down, fight down. You can't go anywhere. Alright? So now, as long as I don't screw it up, I'm going to get the turn. All I have to do from here is I'm going to look towards his feet. I'm going to walk with this hand. My toes still in. My toes still in. I'm looking towards his feet. See how he's going over for me? Because if not, he's already shoulder up. Okay. So here. Go ahead. So from here, all I'm going to do is start looking towards his feet and turn my chest that way. The big thing is my elbow doesn't drop. I keep my arm straight, I start walking this way. As I feel him turning, this leg comes out and I drop my, uh, my ribs on his face here. Alright, so it's like really, really, really painful. All I'm going to do is go over and the next time I'm, I'm dropping my ribs on his face and I'm either smashing his nose or there was like a sign of relief like just hit me and ended. Right. Alright, you're doing a good job. This, this, this really does hurt a lot. So, um, you got to be careful in here, but everything's legal with left. It's all the little angles. Here, here, 45, 45. Here, here, wrist, wrist, just over the top. I'm rotating, punching. I, I don't put, punch just in that, I punch all the way to my wrist. And then from here, I'm just not rotating. As I rotate, I'm, I'm just turning my shoulder. You can, like I feel, all he wants to do is roll over. Go ahead. Go ahead. All, right. All I do is I start to hurt my shoulders and just roll over. He's trying to roll to his back because it's, it's really hurt. So as he does that, I drop my hip 
on his face here, and then come back to adjust the chest. I really like the back of this arm here, and get my knees up. And do a lot of fun things here. 